Hey guys, I'm going to be giving you a more advanced coding tutorial for Gateway, but this is highly necessary in order to make good codes for many games. So this is a pointer code tutorial. So pretty much the reason you would use a pointer is if there is an address that is like dynamic in the game. So an example of these is like um, the item offset in Mario Kart 7, the coin offset in Mario Kart 7, meaning that each time you go to a new track, the offset will change so it can't just be a simple like 8-bit right to and to the address to like modify the number of coins you have to do a pointer so this will go to the address of your pointer it will take that value and it will interpret the, the value as an address and then it will write the selected bytes to that address so it might seem a little complicated but it's simpler than it seems so the first thing you're gonna do is go into your gateway menu so I'm just moving my camera because it got sideways. Okay, there we go. So, and then we're going to go in the in-game menu button. I'm just going to set this to a button that I never use in-game, which is the Y button. So, now it's set to the Y button. So, I'm going to open up Mario Kart 7 now. So, I'm going to be making a coin-like modifier. So, it'll modify the number of coins you have. There's, I don't think that there's a code out there for this yet because most people don't know how to do pointer codes. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go into a track. So I'm just going to do Toad Circuit first. It's taken a while. I'm just going to have this like somewhat on the bottom screen and somewhat on the top screen. Okay, so you can see the number of coins I have. So I'm going to go pick up a coin or two. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the gateway menu. I'm going to do cheat finder and you're going to use one of the on um, one of these three. If your value is between 0 and 255, you're going to use 8-bit. If it's between 255 and 65535, you're going to use 16-bit. And if it's between 65536 and 429, 496, something, 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 I don't know the exact value for FFFF, but something like that, then you would use 32-bit. So I'm going to use 8-bit because my value is 2. So then I'm going to search for that. And we'll wait for this to get done. It should take a while depending on like how many addresses it finds or whatever. So I'm going to pause the video till it's done. Okay, so it just got done. So I'm going to go back out of the game. And I'm going to pick up another coin. So now our value is 3, so I'm going to search for that in the game. So it won't take quite as long as last time. So I can now view the hit list. So there's still one F, but I don't know what that is in decimal, but there's still a lot of val addresses. So we're going to repeat the process again. Okay, so now we have five, so I'm going to search for five. Okay, so now we have two addresses. Since I've been coding this game for a while, I know that usually the first one is the physical address and the second one is the display address. But just to test this theory, I'm going to change the last one and it should not do anything. So I'll just change it to zero, 00. And my theory was correct. It did not change the... It did not change the um, actual value of it. But on the other hand, if we change the first one, this should change the actual... Or I didn't even save it. My bad. It, this should change the actual amount that we have. Yeah. So, I'm going to discard the second address, and I'm only going to use the first one. So on my PC, I've got Notepad pulled up, and I'm going to type in the address there. So, 166DC586. So yeah, now I'm going to go back out, 
I'm gonna go out of the menu again just for like a second or two. Then I'm gonna do the ram dump for gateway. And it'll say dumpy ram to this slot. So you're gonna write down this number on notepad right below the address. So I'm writing hashtag oh 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 oh. So, so far my notepad document looks like this. So, next what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of this course. I'm going to go to change course and we're going to go into a different one. So I'll just pause the video until I get in there. Okay, so I'm in, I'm in Daisy Hills now. I did not shut off my 3DS, I just went to the different course. I just didn't want to have all these loading screens in the game, or in the video. So, right now I have no coins, and now I have one. So, the way I know that this is a pointer code is if we go to Cheat Finder Next Search, and then we search for one, it will not find any addresses, so you know hits left. So, I'm going to just do a new 8-bit exact search, and I'm going to search for 1, because that's how many coins I have at the moment. So, that's how you know if an uh, address is static or if it's dynamic. If it does not find any addresses when turning off your 3DS or when going to a different course or something, that's how you know if it's static or dynamic. It's static if it, if it consistently finds the same address over and over. But it's going to find a different one, as you'll see in a couple minutes. So here's another coin. So now we've got two. We're going to search for this now. So too many, too many hits still. So let's try another time. Okay, we have four now, so let's search for that. Okay, so there's three lines, but there was two in our last one. So that means that one of these is a dummy line, so we're going to have to do the same thing one more time. Okay, so now we have five coins. And now we've got it down to two lines. So as before, the lines are going to be respect in the respective orders. So the second line was the display one, and the first line was the actual address. So I'm going to discard the second line, just like last time. So I'm going to write down the first line in notepad. 166DD886. Oh, 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 XX. And then, so, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go out of the game for a couple seconds, and I'm going to do the gram dumper. So it's dumping it to slot 000001 this time, so I'm going to write that down. So this is what my notepad document looks like. So it doesn't need to be like in that exact format, like... like all you need to know is know which dumb corresponds to what address and stuff. So now I'm c I can turn off my 3DS and I'll meet you on my PC. Okay, so I'm back on my PC and as you can see I've got my notepad document pulled up. So I'm going to insert my 3DS's micro SD card that was inside of my gateway card into my PC. You might need to use an adapter to do that, but I'm pretty sure if you have a gateway, you know how to insert it, so... I'm just going to close out of this prompt that always comes up. So I'm going to go into my Windows Explorer, and I'm going to copy the two dumps. So as you can see, it was slot 0 and slot 1. So it was these two. So I'm going to copy both of them to a place on my PC. I'm just going to call it pointer code, a folder. And I'm going to paste them in here. I'm just going to get this sized up. Okay, there we go. So now I've got my two files in here. So in the description, I'm going to have this a download for this gateway pointer code package. And inside of that, you're going to run this gateway ram reference.exe file. 
It might ask, it might or might not ask you if you want to open it as admin. But either way, just open it. And then I'm gonna open up the first dump. O O O O O O O dot bin. So then I'm gonna go to File Export Full Dump, and I'm gonna select Yes. If you don't have this available, then you should probably get a bigger hard drive. And then this will move. The reason I told you to copy it to a slot on your PC is because it will like say not responding at the top and it will not actually like save the dump if you did it directly from your SD card. So next I'm going to do file read.bin and I'm going to open this one. So as you can see it actually created the extended bin file that's 511 megabytes like it said it would be. So I'm going to open up this second one. And I'm going to do the same thing, file export full dump, and yes to this message. So then it's going to export it. So now I can close out of this. So let's just make sure both of them save. We're going to go into our folder, and as you can see, both of these saved, and they're both 511 megabytes. So next I'm going to open up the gateway pointer code package download, and we're going to open tempar.exe. It might take a while to load. It took a while for me to load, but not this time because I had it open before this, so it like loaded faster or something like that. But that's besides the point. So I'm going to go to this point of search tab and memory dump. I'm going to just click in the box and it'll open up the dialog box. And I'm going to go up to the point of code folder and we're going to open up the first dump, the first 511 megabyte file. So then, I'm going to do the same thing for the second one, but I'm going to open up the second dump. And then we're going to change this mode to other. And we're going to change the maximum offset to 5000, because this will give you more results, so, a ch so there's a bigger chance that it will work. And then we're going to change this to AR. It doesn't really matter if you change this. Like, if your code is 8-bit, it won't matter if it's either one of these, but if your code is 32-bit, you want to keep it at 32-bit because it won't find that many hits for these ones. So I'm just going to keep mine at 32-bit so it'll find more, like, results. And for the address, you probably could have guessed this. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to copy the address from the first dump. So the corresponding dumps should go, like, up, should go above their address. So our, our first dump is going above this first address, like so these two are together, so I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So, yeah, so then I'm going to hit find pointers, and it might take a few minutes, and then all these black ones, these are not actual pointers, these only match one of the dumps. But these green ones, these ones match both of the dumps. So for, so it shouldn't really matter which one you use as long as you're doing these two courses. But if you wanted to be more, spe more specific, then you could just take a screenshot of these green ones. And then, I would, then you could just save this somewhere. So I could just save this here. And then... I could do the same thing again, but I could do it with a different course. And then if it finds the same, if it finds one of the same pointers, then you know that that one will probably work for all courses. But it, I'm just guessing. I'm just taking a guess. It's probably this one, because these ones are like O F F F F, and most pointers do not look like that. Most pointers just look like normal addresses. So. If you change this to AR like I told you to, then it will generate a code for you. So we're going to copy this and we're going to go down and we're going to paste it here. So this I got lucky on this time because it didn't it, because my address started in O, as you can see it started in OO. But if it didn't, then you would probably have a ninth value here. So let's just say it was 30, it would look like this. So that in this case you would have to enter a line and you would have to do d3 o o o o o o and then you would set it you would set the starting address to whatever value to whatever number the second one was 
So this just changes the starting value to the starting address to this. So and then that would mean that you can delete this. But as I said, that was that's only for if you have a ninth bit up here. But we don't need to do that. So this is our pointer code. So our address our value can be right here that we can change. So this is xx. If you don't if you're not sure which one it is, like if it's a multiple line code, then you can just change the value to like A because A means ten coins. And then and then you do find pointers and it will probably update it. So let's give it a so see it just updated it. It's the same it's everything is the same except for this. So now you can distribute this. This is coin modifier for all tracks. So yeah, that's pretty much how you make pointer codes for a gateway. So thank you for watching, like, subscribe, comment for more videos, and I'll see you next time.